Hello everyone, I am Mecca Random 42 your favorite YouTube Harpy. We got some Star Trek Picard series news, some, some more. Funny thing, this is supposed to be airing in December, but they still haven't started filming yet, and they've also had a few times back and forth with CBS getting their costumes and sets um, totally totally have to redo them, right? Totally disapproved, right? So they, they've gone to CBS for approval, apparently, according to, according to a few sources now. Now, this is, this is, I believe it's rumor mill territory here, that they've gone into CBS a couple of times for approval on sets, on costumes, and they're like, no, 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 no. We, we don't want you to looking like Discovery. We want you looking like Star Trek. <gasps> And this is kind of hilarious, though, but, but we have some Picard news. I guess they're still going to go forward with it. They're actually casting, unlike the Section 31 show, which has not been ordered yet. That, we have no casting, no nothing. Same thing with the uh, Mirror Universe Giorgio show, or Empress Giorgio, which I think is the Section 31 series, because she's supposed to, spoiler, take over Section 31. And that's how, that's the Section 31 series is one of the ones that they're pitching. No order for that is yet. So, so we have no casting, no, no, nothing. This one, it does have an order because it has Patrick Stewart attached to it. And it's the only one anybody has any interest in. We have casting news. Star Trek Captain Picard series has three regulars. Variety is reporting that Jean-Luc Picard series has added Allison Phil from the newsroom, Harry Treadway from Mr. Mercedes and Penny Dreadful, and Issa Bryones, I'm saying your name wrong and I'm so sorry, from American Crime Story Versace. A series regulars and CBS All Access upcoming Star Trek show. More more rumors now is that the first or ch first episode of the Picard series will be on actual CBS to kind of drum up some interest in the CBS All Access streaming service. This news came from, I believe, the new CEO that was put in place after Les Moonves left from CBS, where, where he did state that, yes, we need to try and get anybody we can over to CBS All Access. If we have to give them the free episodes to do it, we will. So I think we're going to be seeing this Picard series on regular CBS, at least the first episode, right? The three new series regulars will join the previously announced Patrick Stewart, reprising his role as Captain Picard, along with Santiago Cabrera from Big Little Lies, Michelle Hurd from Blindspot, and Eva, Evan, Ev, Eva Gora from Fantasy Island. I can never say these people's names. Never. The upcoming series is said to tell the story of Picard's life take, likely taking place after Star Trek The Next Generation. Well, we, we have heard that it is set after the destruction of the Romulan star system, like the entire star system, which is an event that was set up in the J.J. Abrams universe of films. It, it was something that happened in their films. So keep that in mind. Anything that happens in their films is all in their universe. It's in their prime version of their universe. The details are being kept under wraps. No, that, that's what it is. That's what it's supposed to be. And we're supposed to have like a hot-headed young Romulan guy. They're so, I, th I think they were supposed to be going off on like archaeological adventures at one point. And another point, there it was like a Starfleet Academy sort of show. This looks very much like it could be a Starfleet Academy sort of show if they have very young looking people here. All of the cast, all of the cast details have been very, very young people. So, so I'm going to keep that in mind. Very young looking people. Plot details are being kept under wraps, but Discovery creator Alex Kurtzman revealed in March that it will be a very different show from Discovery. What he also said is a very different Picard. Patrick Stewart has stressed that it is a very different kind of Picard. That is not the Picard we're used to seeing. Keep that in mind as well when we were talking about the Picard series, because Mark Hamill, when he was talking about Luke Skywalker before The Last Jedi came out, said it's a very different kind of Luke Skywalker that you remember. That, that is a that is a red flag right there that this is not our Picard. This is a new one. This is Jake Picard. So that, that's what I'm going with in my head. And I'm scared to death that that's going to be the case. But you know what? If you guys do ha have uh, or want to wanna confirm or deny my my headcanon or my, my assumptions, I will be out at Star Trek Las Vegas. If you want to help go fund me, I have a GoFundMe to help get me out there. It's about $750 now of the $2,000 goal. Help send me to Star Trek Las Vegas so I can cover this stuff live as they break. Because last year we got news of the Picard series. This is what I want. This is what I want. I want some big breaking news that I can be the first one on top of. So, 
He also mentioned this series will be a very thoughtful psychological portrait in a lot of ways. Things have changed for Picard and changed him in some ways. Yet he is so deeply and fundamentally still Picard. <laughs> yeah, so he's different but the same. This is, oh god, this is just double talk. Star Trek Discovery co-creator and executive producer Alex Kurtzman will oversee development on the new show, which is not a Star Trek Next Generation reboot, but rather a continuation of Picard's story. But Alex Kurtzman is poison. He is toxic to everything he touches. Oh, th th this is why I don't have a lot of faith in the Picard series. It's still the same people behind Discovery that don't understand, you know, that, that you know, you don't drop out of warp. You, you don't get pulled out of warp. You drop out of warp, rather. You know, they, they don't understand Star Trek terminology. They don't understand how long it takes to travel distances with established warp speed parameters. They, they don't understand how far you can teleport stuff. Yeah, they don't understand that Star Trek was always philosophical and very heady and very intellectual in a lot of ways. And when you had fantasy elements, it looked like fantasy to dumb people with Q, but no, that's just another highly advanced alien race that's highly evolved. That's science, not fantasy, right? <sighs> Kurtzman will executive produce the new series alongside newly appointed Star Trek Discovery executive producer James Duff, former Discovery producer Akiva Goldsman. Now, Akiva Goldsman didn't get fired from Discovery for being shit, right? And Michael Chabon from Spider-Man 2. No, Spider-Man 2 was terrible. Also had the stink of Kurtzman all over it. And Star Trek Voyager and Discovery writer Kristen Beyer. From what I heard, the Kristen Beyer, though, her books were terrible. She was a Discovery novel writer. I didn't read them, so I can't tell. But this is what I've heard. Also executive producing are Heather Caden of Secret Hideout, which is a subsidiary of Bad Robot, J.J. Abrams Production Company. And Roddenberry Entertainment President Eugene Rod Roddenberry, son of Star Trek Discovery, blah, blah, blah. So, but Rod Roddenberry is only there in name only, I believe. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't believe I've ever seen any pictures of him on set other than maybe one time to announce the thing. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. I know you guys are going to correct me on all kinds of other things because CBS is out in full force talking about, or like stalking the channels with their little bot troll accounts. Like, but Discovery is good. And if, and if, you know, Star Trek needed to move forward or else they wouldn't have a fan base. Bullshit. You know, that's not true. I'm tired of the pre-programmed responses. I've heard them all before. I'm not going to bother with, with those, but what do you guys think? Are, do, do you think that this is good news? Are we excited? Are we scared? I am terrified. It's going to be bad. Eagerly anticipating, though, the, the whole seeing in firsthand, the, the uh, <laughs> here we go, Star Trek Las Vegas news, any news panels, any of that stuff. Here we go. It is at $750 of our $2,000 goal in eight days. Holy shit, that's great. That's amazing. And thank you guys so much. I am just overwhelmed with the gratitude and and just wonder wonderful generosity that you guys have have given me for that just thank you so much i really really appreciate it so thank you guys so much for watching i am mecha random 42 p.o box 1566 love in colorado 80539 thank you so much for watching i will see you on the next video or live stream bye thanks for watching if you liked it make sure to hit that like button and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video bye